Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How y'all doing? What's popping off? How are my insulation babes? If it's your first time here, my name's Gary, aka The Plastic Boy. Today's video, I thought I'll just do something quite different and quite requested actually. Like you guys know, I'm such a full coverage queen. I love foundation so much. So I thought, why not show you the best foundations out there for deeper skin tones? I'm already a combination just to like let you guys know, but Every foundation in this category won't be just for oily skin, it'll be like for combo. So if you are oily combo and you like a bit of dewiness, definitely stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay. Okay, so if you can hear sirens, I literally just had to open my window because I've been filming like all day. I filmed this look for Instagram, by the way. I should have filmed it for YouTube. So if you want to see what this look looks like, I'll definitely try and link it in the description bar below, which is for an Instagram video. But if you guys want a review on this kind of look, I can definitely do it. It's mad when I'm always just like doing makeup really slow. I don't know, it comes out something that I really, really like. But anyway, I thought I'd do a foundation video because I haven't done one of these for a while. And there's just been so many banging foundations out there. And I've kind of, um, selected these just by how many shades you can get the selection choice the finish um how amazing it just looks and just the tones for deeper skin tones like i've got so many foundations and i just feel like sometimes a brand will bring out an amazing foundation and there's only like 11 shades even though that one shade may look good on me what about the other people that are deeper so that's why it's like eh, eh, sorry honey mm that cancels you out because just because you have one shade that's amazing on one person we need someone that's gonna look amazing who's truly chocolatey deep rich skin tone so i just feel like i'm not clapping again i just love clapping it's very expressive if you don't like it pick a finger no i'm just joking i'm just joking so let's start my first foundation would have to be let's start by light coverage first um where is it okay would have to be you guys probably know what it is I'm not even prepared for this video. These shots are me. Oh my god. Okay, so it would have to be this one. And this is by Revolution Pro. I actually got this maybe two weeks ago. I've actually included this in a video. And guys, this is amazing. It's called the Moisture Rich SPF Perfecting Foundation. I and mean, it definitely is more of a medium coverage. You can build up to full, but I'll definitely say it's more like sheer to medium. Um, they do a few shades in this. A lot of them I saw that this is just amazing. It felt amazing on the skin. It wore amazing. It just has, I don't know, it's um it's definitely more uh, moisturizing, but it definitely dried down to more of a natural skin finish. It's so nice. I'm in the shade um 14.7. I mean it is a bit red for me, but um because I wear light concealers anyway, it just it's just such a beautiful foundation, guys, and it's so cheap. I think it's like seven pounds, I'm not sure how much it is, but it's very very affordable so this is a true banger okay another one oh, it's just no surprise if you watch my instagram tutorials or i think i've used on here actually no i have and i just love it so much and this is the colourpop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer is this by their brand full fray no it's actually colourpop it's colourpop guys this is so good um it's a hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer so it's gonna um keep moisture it's basically gonna attract moisture i keep you know what I mean? Girl, I'm getting confused. But anyway, this is so good. The color is amazing. It's deep dark, 21W. This is definitely sheer. You can definitely put it up, but it's definitely sheer, guys. So if you have any problematic areas, it's just... Let me just swatch some for you. So it's very, very sheer, guys. You can literally rub that in with your fingers like that. And see, it's just... You can still see my skin like under it it's so nice i just feel like it just looks amazing on my skin well no whenever i wear this people are like what have you got on i'm like babe it's a tinted moisturizer and when i actually wore this it made me realize that i actually don't need full coverage all the time it was kind of shocking but this guys the shades in this are amazing the formula is amazing and it's inexpensive girl if you don't buy it child <laughs> okay so we're gonna move on to more of like higher price point foundations foundations that have just been my ride or die can you guys guess what foundation is going to be next because if you don't if you don't it has to be miss double wear this 
is actually one that they gave me when I went to Ibiza with them. I've been wearing double wear for years, even before working with them. And this bottle, I haven't used it. It's just, I just want to keep it just because it's so beautiful. I'm in the shade Deep Spice, but I think I could, I, could wear, I could wear a few shades in this. A lot of people don't know, Double Wear actually have 60 shades. The formula for this is amazing. When you put it on, you're like, oh, this is a full coverage girl. What is this? Let me just, can I spread one? Let me put some on for you. When you pull it on, you're like, this isn't full coverage, but when it dries down, this is so full coverage. But it's more of a natural finish, though. It's more natural. Let me blend that. It's more of like a natural finish, but when you put it on, girl, when you take pictures, it gives it away. So try and make sure you get kind of like a decent shade. I would always say it's always better to go darker in this than lighter, because if you get a lighter shade and someone takes a picture of you flash, <laughs> it's going to be clockable. This foundation is probably like one of my favorite foundations ever, ever, just because it just lasts through heat, sweat, breakups, funerals, sex. It just, it, it just. It's magic. It's just a banger, guys. If you haven't tried Estelo, Estelo Double Wear, try and get a sample, get it. It's just, can't go wrong. Another foundation that I tried before the new year, which I really, really loved, and I just thought it was such a banger, um, has to be the Urban Decay Stay Naked 24 Hour Foundation. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually did a series called Foundation Fridays, and this was in my Foundation Fridays, and I actually tested it for a full, like, 10 hours or a full day and this foundation did not budge in the gym it didn't budge when i ran it didn't budge like in just the whole rush hour of things this shade is a bit dark for me it's 90 nn um one of my friends who actually works at Evan decay was like um i could definitely go with a few shades lighter but um i just kind of um went to the store and someone got this for me but this foundation is so good let me see actually i haven't even wiped off the other swatch as you can see there, it's a bit more red and a bit more full coverage than, it's not full, more full coverage than Estelode. I think they're about the same, but this is just a bit more rich in shade. The foundation is really, really good, and so is the concealer. Urban Decay kind of like, they kind of knocked it out of the park with this foundation. I used to love All Nighter, but this one is just a true, true banger. Okay, and another foundation which I got sent maybe last year, I think as well, um, they launched it with concealers and the concealer is really good but I prefer the foundation um, I was kind of shocked because this is a Japanese brand or a Chinese brand and you know with sometimes with Japanese or Chinese brands they don't cater for us us deeper skin tone people because we're just there's not a lot of us they just don't care they just don't period this has to be one of the most perfect matching foundations I've ever used the finish is beautiful it stays looking beautiful all day and this is the shishado secro skin self what's it called self refreshing foundation this foundation is beautiful like stunning like if, if i had to describe this foundation in one word it actually is stunning i've worn it all day and it just you know sometimes when you wear foundation it can be like mm, mm. Mm, it's a bit crusty. It looks a bit, you know, Sharkeisha-ish. But this looks beautiful. Even like, I didn't need to really even top it up or like, you know, touch up. It just looks beautiful. I'm in the shade um, 530 Henna. Um, let me put some on for you. And when you do um, swatch it, it's kind of like runny. But um, I just feel like the shade of this, it's so like, it's not red. It's like, even though it looks red on camera, let me just... It's more like neutral, which I love, and it matches me so perfectly. It's just so beautiful. If you guys can try this foundation, definitely try it out. I'm not sure how much it is, but I know Shishado isn't cheap, y'all. She's very expensive, but this foundation is key, period. Okay, so I've got four foundations left. I know, I don't want to overbear you guys, but some of these are just my favorite foundations. Okay, the next one, I don't really gravitate, gravitate. towards as much, but she's just that kind of girl where when it's really hot or I'm going somewhere really hot, she's that kind of girl that's going to give me that full beat down, bad bitch, bad girls club coverage. And this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade Mocha. Actually, no, this is hot fudge, but I mean, I do wear... um a few shades but um i actually got this because i went on holiday and i was a bit darker but I actually wear mocha um this foundation i'll definitely try and say if you use me as a shade reference use mocha but um i'll definitely try and go in the store but definitely try and go darker than lighter because i feel like with full coverage foundation especially this one it's let me just swatch it for you because it's so full look how full coverage that is like it's so full coverage but 
Harder is known for a full coverage products. This foundation, once it sets, you would look so beautiful. The filter on your face, it's like a real life filter. It's incredible like it's mm, i think it's about 40 pounds but it's definitely worth it Huda beauty always brings out the most amazing products but the only thing is if you don't really like if you don't really like fragrance you probably won't really like this and it has got a kind of smell which i don't mind but i think the foundation is bomb af another foundation that shot the hell out of me like sh it made me shooketh shooketh was the milk flex foundation stick you probably can't see it because it's white and my lights are gonna you know do a little something something but um they sent me this the first time and they sent me the wrong shades and i was like okay i didn't use it i was like whatever so then i'm up with the pr and then she gave me the right shades and then up uh, so she gave me quite a lot there's so many shades in this which is amazing and i could use so many and then <coughs> And then I used Warm Deep. Just because I just wanted to try it. Because I was like, let me just try Warm Deep one day. Guys, this is like, when I put it on, like, you can't even clock. Let me put some on my neck. Like, like, where is it? Like, when I blend it in, like, it's probably one of the most, it's probably, if not, definitely in the top three best matching foundations I've ever tried. What I love about this foundation stick is that it's not oily. You know, some foundation sticks, I won't say any names, they go really oily, they give you lines. This one is just a natural skin, matte-ish finish. They do so many shades. It's really good for touch-ups. It's really good for top-ups. You can bring it in your bag. It's just such a good foundation. It's so nice. I love mixing it with other things also, but this is... I just don't feel like it gets spoken about. Like, the shades Milk do are just so inclusive. They're so banging, and I just feel like this... For me, it's just a holy grail because the the match is just unclockable. Unclockable. Un Actually, I'm gonna um, link all these foundations down below if you wanna get any of them because they're all amazing and they all do different things and, and they all have different coverages and it all kind of, if you have oily to normal skin, they'll all work for you. It's just all about how you prep the skin, you get me? So this foundation, she's expensive. She is more for the girls that have, that one that kind of like dewy, these sirens, I just love her because, I love her because it's about the way you prep your skin and the way it just makes your skin look. Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation, period. She's 60 pounds, she's expensive, but when I put this on my skin, I feel like this has to be one of the most unique formulas I've ever tested in a foundation. Obviously, if you have problematic skin, you can still wear it, but you probably might have to use a bit of concealer and stuff. But the finish and the formula is just insane. I'm gonna put some on. The thing about this, it's very runny. It's very similar to Mac Face and Body. It's just such a runny foundation. But guys, like, if you use your hands, you can make it thicker. I can use a few shades in this foundation line. Um, I use Medium Deep 27. This is 31, so this is a bit more red for me. So I've got this for the summer once. But um, I'm actually medium deep 27 and it matches me perfectly. But this foundation is so nice. It's so luxurious. It's um, glass. Hello. But um, I feel like if you haven't tried anything from Pat McGrath, definitely try her foundation and concealer before the palettes because I think her complexion is amazing. Her palettes and stuff are amazing, but definitely try and try her foundation. It's beautiful. Especially if you're not that kind of full coverage kind of girl. You will love this, it's expensive, but I do feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's an investment and it's definitely personal preference, but she is that girl. Okay, and this is my last foundation and this foundation to me is just, it just brings back so many memories because when it first came out, I was obsessed with it. I don't reach for it as much anymore, but I actually love mixing it with double wear because I got that trick off um, Makeup Shayla. And this has to be the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. Let me just tell you something, NARS, kill it in every complexion category concealer foundation powder blush everything and the shade range in nars is incredible i can wear about three or four shades in nars i wear the shade marquise if you haven't you, if you haven't tried this foundation you have to kind of look in the mirror and ask yourself what is going on because every girl 
every girl and boy in the world has tried this foundation the only thing about when i wear this by itself it does make me a tiny bit oily i'm not gonna lie i have to prep my skin a bit more because it's kind of more of like dewy glowy kind of foundation but um i love their one what's it called um all day luminous that one's really good to mix both but if you mix this and double wear together shut down trust me daddy trust me so this foundation is beautiful um it's more of a radiant finish full coverage and it is really nice i'll definitely say try this foundation at my nose it's super super nice and it's mm, it's not badly priced either so definitely check it out so guys that was my foundation favorites i just like found these foundations that i showed are amazing for deeper skin tones color wise and formula wise and let me guys know if you want me to like you know do like a proper in-depth video of the foundations or even concealers and let me know in the comments down below what foundations you think i should try that you think i would love just by um the foundations that i showed you um i love you guys so much thank you guys for all the love on my previous videos definitely don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and i shall see you in my next video guys bye <laughs>